So, um, hello. This is a continuation. Um, I couldn't get next out of my part head. by Max Payne. Let's play. I got killed a lot on this let's play. So you're gonna see a few times where I skipped ahead and had to basically um, die and then skip ahead to a time when I managed to succeed. Also used explosives for the first time. Not a sentence I say very often, but they are quite useful in this level and I'm surprised I haven't used them previously. Okay, uh, you really need to know this because I really needed to know this. Um, in case you haven't looked at the instructions, just like I didn't look at the instructions, um, you, you can't choose an explosive and then press um, the button you normally press to fire your primary weapon. You have to fire the secondary weapon button in order to um, fire the secondary weapon. So there you go. It's always worth coming down into this room. You don't absolutely have to, but you can get rid of those two guys. And you can press that for some reason. And also, as you'll see in a minute, you can manage to get hold of these painkillers, so... I hate this. I hate this. I'm not going in there. Come on, you baby. This is just like a ghost train for kitties. Ooh, they're coming for us. Help. We're doomed. Attack to the badly drawn cardboard badasses. I'm telling you, I got a bad feeling about this. I'll hold your hand. Drive all the scary monsters away. I so much better already. This is another one where there's a lot of amusing dialogue, so I'm going to be showing that off. You know, I don't think I'm going to talk that much about this level during this level. I like this lightning with um, with these clouds here, but yeah, I'm running out of stuff to say about the game. So in the end, he's in this insane asylum toilet, and he looks in the mirror and sees the killer there. See, he's in the John, and he looks in the mirror, so it's like John Mirror, and he's the killer himself. Hey, I haven't seen it. Now you spoiled it. Thanks a lot. You haven't seen it? You haven't seen it? You have to see it. I can lend you the DVD, and they still have this cool website. You have to see it. Yeah, but watch it with the spoilers. So, it also mentions John Miller in the, um, the closing song, which you'll hear at the end of the game, the pros doing the close, closing credits, which is by Perks of the Fall. They're, they're not one of my favourite bands, personally. They're a decent rock band, but decent as far as I'll go. But I'll admit that, um... Wow, Max sort of committed suicide there. <laughs> anyway, um, I still find that funny. What a terrible subject to laugh at. Sorry. But, um... Yeah, they're an okay band, but that particular song is excellent. And if you're gonna get any of the songs at all, then I think it's perfectly fine to just buy that song on iTunes or whatever and ignore the rest. But that's just me, so. Anyway, the song at the end features uh, John Mill as well. 
it's all sort of connected in this way. It's useful to have an extra look around here because there are a couple of places in this game as this this level the fun where you can find extra around. things. There! She's up there! Look out! One of my favorite pieces of music from the game. She had disappeared back into the shadows. An intervention from above, over too soon. Unfortunately, it gets interrupted by my shooty people. Ah, oh, slow down there. Damn it. I'm going to have to fix the slowdown problem somehow. Anyway, yeah, I'm not going to be talking about the game a lot. I think I should talk about... I have a game recommendation to all of you out there at 3. It's quite an old game. Um, if you don't have an N64, then you might have to use an emulator. I don't know how you feel about those. Hopefully they have less slowdown than this does. Anyway, um, I recommend Conker's Bad Fur Day as a game. It is excellent, it's highly imaginative, it's a heck of a lot of fun. Uh, the characters are great, the voice acting is great. It doesn't look amazing because it's N64, but it looks decent enough. Just showing off the van there, it does look a little bit like the cleaner's van, don't you think? Anyway, I'd recommend that. Another one of my favourite games, not one that I'm playing right now, but one generally, is Lemmings. It's one of the first games I played. And I just love puzzle games having to work things out. It's a pity that this isn't a puzzle game really, but um just some of the some of the puzzles in Lamings are amazing. Um, the music's pretty good. It can get a little annoying occasionally and I can understand why some people might dislike it for that. But I personally liked it a lot. So you should play that if you want. I'd forgotten about the radio Mona had given me. Max. I'm Max is heading to clear. one of the I'll hardest the levels in the game. About what happened. Can't talk now. Which I'll be showing off in the next her. part. I had to crack the case. I don't have a lot to do for the next couple Mona, of days, so I might be uploading more often site. than usual. Darn work situation isn't going that well, so... Not a lot to do. Take it to the top floor. Yeah, with the rest of the evidence. Hey, careful with those red boxes, you'll blow us all up. I'll get the stuff from the van and meet you there. I think we're up to about the end of hey, this part. I might as well say goodbye now and I'll see you in the next episode. Mm -hmm.